GXH here. He is at the cusp of becoming a diamond player in ones. Plat 3, high div, trying to get there, trying to figure out what they did wrong. And that's why we're here. So look at this replay. See what we can help GXH with. It is ones. It is a casual match, but they're still looking for some general advice. Um, right off the bat, the kickoff is okay. I would say we need to, we need to look at our opponents when we're doing kickoffs, right? I think we could, I feel like we can kind of see that he's cheating. They had a really good fake kickoff. We don't want to generally give up possession, but they did a good job of cheating and disguising it. I couldn't see it right off the bat. But always want to be sure we're looking at them. Uh, oh man good save honestly out of this kind of crappy position right um you turn the kind of fake challenge and then we're kind of gonna give them up a bunch of uh of space which is not ideal obviously i think you know we want to be ideally pressuring them a little bit more i don't i don't like sitting on the goal line just letting them kind of have what they're doing like let them do what they do especially when we're such a lower rank this, this dribble is kind of jank. Like, we could have easily challenged them at some point. But we kind of give them space, and we kind of push ourselves away from the net. And that's definitely not something we want to do, right? Because now we have a lot of space that's uncover uncoverable, right? You know, this whole front post, basically, is just free. Because you're basically not protecting it. And I would almost argue you're not protecting much of the other post either with your positioning. You want to be way more parallel with this goal line so you can actually make saves. And that's why they had a jank dribble. Didn't work out. But then they had this weird bounce off the side of the wall. And it's like, uh, awkward. Barely get there in time. Like, just being parallel with the net, I feel like, just helps keep away all that garbage. And lets the ball, not let the ball get behind you. Damn. So, we go for this air dribble, right? And we just we just extend too far and don't have anything come from it. Like, the air dribble setup is jank, right? So, I think there wasn't really much to it, and then we end up having no boost, and they just plays it past us, right? We need to have more purpose with that. Um, I feel like if you realize your setup's kind of jank, there has to be a way to get out of it. They have to find a way to, you know have that more purpose with it so there's not just those easy goals where you overextend um that just comes with practicing those mechanics more and i think not letting them get away from you like that so we're dribbling good dribbling gives us a lot of space good flick oh but the follow-up isn't very good right great flick um we almost would like to see maybe a side flip flick in this scenario because we're super deep in their their field at this point so a front flip flick is fine we're gonna blast this flick and go straight over into the their, towards their net right but we gotta think about how our cars gonna move so our cars gonna move super far forward with a front flip front flip flick if we can incorporate in this part of the field more of like a side flip flick our car will naturally just stay kind of in the same like won't get any deeper in the field versus um, a front flip flick will just like throw you into their net. You basically keep your, your distance and can recover quicker. So overall though, the flick is good. Um, I just wouldn't go for the follow up. I just feel like you're gonna get beat every time. Just retreating back to net is probably your better shot there. Just knowing when you can go in ones and when you can't go, like a lot of the time, um, a lot of the time I would say retreating and like, not trying to put too much or you have to know when you're gonna get beat and you have to get back to net is basically what i'm trying to say um i'm trying to think if i hate this i don't think i i don't necessarily hate it because it is a nice way to recover and not have to slow down and like stop your momentum uh i just think that our buddy here is has so much control that i think we're just better off coming in like this and just doing one of these numbers and challenging them right away 
I think it's too slow. I think it's too slow at this point where if he would have just hit this near post, you would have never saved it, right? Um, I think he pushed it too middle on you, but is what it is. I think um, overall it did not matter totally, completely. Much better pressure. Let's stay on the ball. Let's get comfortable. Good touch. And then let's score this open net. Very good. That's great defense. This is what we this is what we want to see more of, right? Stay on the ball more. Keep pushing the ball to the side. Keep it away from them. And then you get the easy counter. Picture perfect ones, honestly. Picture perfect ones. I love your kickoff, by the way. <laughs> I love your kickoff, by the way. I think um, it's very fast. It's very good for like plat to diamond. So. Want to praise you on that good 50 and then score it yes really good 50 a lot of players here would go for a beat like they're gonna try and maybe try to go for this ball in a way that they're gonna push it to the wall and get past this guy and that's a mistake a lot of players will make that'll uh um end up having them get dunked a lot right or have the 50 not go favorably you actively went for the 50 and that's just it's just such a you know good understanding of where our opponent is and your recovery was very nice and the open net score if you want to score open nets you just should just subscribe you should just subscribe on YouTube I'm just saying if you want to score open nets just, that's how easy it is um, but no that was great right going for 50s actually trying to have a good 50 is important and a lot of players I think neglect that Good boost management here. Get it a little closer. Challenge. Beautiful. Very good. Don't get demoed. Recover. <laughs> good. Play to the side. We gotta take control. Nice. We're kind of in the corner. A little awkward, but now nah, it works out. You just gotta be careful getting up into this corner, right? Because whenever we start getting, you know, further upfield than the ball, that's when we're gonna start seeing a counterattack that we can't catch up to, right? So always be careful about how deep you're getting into the, your opponent's side of the field in ones. Especially when you're not actually on the ball and can challenge it. Here we go. Here we're going to have to give them space. But then we early challenge. Beautiful. You got to mix up the challenges at once. You're right. We're going to be in shadow defense a lot. So we got to mix up those early challenges, the fake challenges, the just sitting back and let them come at you. And then great dribble to score that. Very good. Very, very good. Another solid kickoff. Good patience. And then, yeah, great. Another great goal. It's a little scuffed, and I feel like later you're gonna, those are going to get saved. But, I mean, the premise of, like, attacking, going forward and taking the ball to the middle of the field and trying to take the ball to them is great. Also, love mixing up the kickoffs. Fake kickoffs, super awesome. Let's, let's uh... You know, let's keep possession more. Going for a demo. I would like to see the ball moving a little faster towards their net for the demo, but not ultimately not terrible. Good recovery, though. Okay, never mind. It's a little jank. It's okay. But you got back in time, right? We're back. And then the early challenge. Beautiful. Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we doing? Right? We got this early challenge. We recover. Let's... Why are we not... Why don't we just turn and boost and score an open net? What are we jumping for? Like, we don't need boost. <laughs> so, I don't know if you're just getting a little, like, you know, you're up three goals. You can get a little saucy, but, yeah, just turn and score that one. Maybe I'm t looking into it too, de too deep. All right. Don't love... I don't... I don't know. I don't love it. If we're going to do this, right... Once this ball starts getting away from us, we need to get to a spot where we can 50 this. Like, we can't, like, I feel like the risk of just trying to be underneath it and then just keep trying to push it up past this guy is just too great compared to just staying behind it and just getting a solid 50 from it. But obviously, I mean, the ball got away from you. It's hard to control that. He gets a clean beat. 
Um, Should have scored it. For some reason, did not. And then, yeah, let's be aggressive. Yep, go for the ball. Get this dribble going again. Oh, good cut. Oh, a little sloppy on the end, but we, we get there. We get there. Overall, really good control. I'm really enjoying how you're, you know, you're taking control of the ball. You're uh, letting in free goals from kickoff because you, I would, I wouldn't fake these. I wouldn't fake these kickoffs. Don't like faking these kickoffs because they can just shoot it right on your net, right? Or they can dribble it and shoot it on your net. Like the corner ones or the side kickoffs are much more effective for faking. I don't like faking these ones. But no, overall, the control, the speed of play, the dribbles are all very nice. We're going to fake kickoff again. I think your fake kickoff is a little awkward, too. Like, like you flip and then you keep pushing forward. Like, we need to, like, turn around and get back to get that boost to keep possession. Like, we, we fake kickoff and basically give them possession in our corner. Like, that's not how we want to do that. If you would have pressed that, I would have possession in your corner. It just felt a little off. Alright, and then, yeah, just going for an air dribble that we aren't very good at. And get scored out pretty easy. Yeah. That's just giving up possession. Not going for that. Boomerang it upfield at least. At least. So let's see. I love the slow approach. Wait for the flick. Ooh, didn't save it. Got the bumped, but that's alright. Back on time. Yeah, I'm just good speed. Great save from him. Good recovery. Now we just need to be patient in our shadow defense. Just be careful not to push too far, like, too far in front of him, right? When we're in shadow defense, we want to funnel down his options. So we want to be in a spot where we're basically on the same, if we run a lines up the length of the field, we want to be on the same line as him, if not on the other side of it, so that we're pushing everything one direction and make it so he doesn't, he only has one play and it's to go this way. If we get in front of him too much, that's when we start opening up plays the, to this direction and that's when we start getting dusted in shadow defense, right? Obviously, he just flicks it early and doesn't have any thoughts behind his eyes. And that's okay. You had a great save, though, for it. I will say that. And then good pressure. And that's going to result in a goal. Nice. Very very good with uh, zero boost. Uh, not easy to do. We're going to finish this game up, it looks like, with some good, with uh, some good play back and forth. Love pursuing the ball here. You you don't you have enough boost to keep pursuing it, right? And now let's get back when it's more of a safe spot. Good, good early challenge. That's how you win games at the spot. The biggest thing, right? This is situational rocket league right now, right? We just can't give up fast, quick goals, and that's what you're doing with those early challenges. You're cut, shutting down any offense, you know, any of that. And then we're just going to, yep, just stay in the middle and keep the ball up high and make it so he has no offense. Great, great way to kill time and win win one's games. So overall, uh, GXH, you, you have a lot of great fundamentals and a lot of, you know, a great foundation for ones. I think, obviously, it's going to be like, just keep on uh, working on getting better at dribbles, getting overall faster, getting more comfortable in shadow defense. And... I would say try to get rid of some of those plays where you fully commit like with the air dribbles that you know don't go your way you don't need to go for those you know a lot of your i think your only your only goals were committing too far because of air dribbles so you know just cut those plays out and you know i think you'll be a really good ones player with just more practice and getting your car mechanics up so a lot of free play and just keep playing so thanks again for submitting it